Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to day eight of the 31 Days of Poor, DBooji86 here again. Now, the film I got for you guys today is a film that was originally released in 2006 uh, from a. Uh, it was originally released from Brain Damage Films originally, but like its original like DVD release. Uh, I know like uh, the history of this film because I was reading about it and listened to the commentary. And this is the re-release and the director's edition of this film known as The Traveler. Uh, yes, this film is directed by Jonathan Stoltek. I believe that's how he pronounced his last name. Uh, and pretty much uh, what this edition of the film is, is he went back and re-edited and took certain scenes out of the film and put the original ending of the film inside of this one to get his original vision of the film, which I found very interesting to do that. Now, pretty much the main plot of this one, we're introduced to this young couple that's like running, driving from the woods. They're very lost. What ends up happening is their car ends up dying on them. And unbeknownst, it ends up dying like in front of like this weird abandoned type house. But there's a group of people in there and what this group of people is there for is uh, pretty much they go to this place all the time because of the weird history with this house. Like there's been murders there, deaths, uh, just very eeriness of this place. And they learn about this stuff and they're sitting in this random room together. And unbeknownst to them, this man actually walks into the room that none of them know. They're like, who are you? And he's like, I'm the traveler. And pretty much what ends up happening is he's like, we're going to play a game now. And the game is, I'm going to torture you all to death. And you're going to vote on who I'm going to torture. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're kidding. And he shows that he's not kidding at all. And he ends up torturing one of them. While the rest of them are supernaturally like pinned to the wall. And they can't move, pretty much. So this uh, being known as the Traveler has supernatural strength and supernatural powers to him also and they can't leave the room either which is crazy because there's like this force field around this room where if you walk out of it you get burned pretty much as we see in a certain scene so it's pretty much like this tale of like uh skepticism and finding out what the traveler is and also like trusting each other pretty much they're trying to fight against each other to survive pretty much that's pretty much the main plot of this one very interesting fucking watch i have to say i did kind of enjoy like the aspect of this film of like uh these characters in this one contained area and they plot against each other pretty much they have like situations where they have to choose who dies and that's a very interesting aspect of a film now this film is low budget you could tell uh by the budget of this film it's like kind of like shot in video style so this film is not going to be for everyone especially with like uh the aspect of the torture scenes they're very gripping and brutal in some sense and there are some excellent gore i have to say if you're a fan of gore this film is death for you the gore scenes are phenomenal. This is some of the, like, the best like low-budget gore I've seen in a while in a film. And it's just fucking awesome. Like, uh, very uh, grotesque and kind of gripping at the same time. Especially with like, uh, what's happened to the characters as the Traveler does his uh, bidding. Now, the Traveler is a very interesting character. Uh, he's kind of looks like... Grady from The Shining and kind of has Grady's mannerisms and he talks with like a British accent. The actor who plays him, Sean Burke, actually does a tremendous job. Uh, he does have like that Grady persona, especially when you meet him. The comparisons are top notch because he looks exactly like Mr. Grady from The Shining. It's very, it you know, that that's definitely where they got that character from and the way the character looks. It's very interesting, I have to say. And it's like a doppelganger of Grady, like a low-budget like doppelganger of Mr. Grady. And 
even though like he's a low budget actor, he actually does a tremendous job trying to do like a British accent. Really great stuff. And uh, yeah, just like uh, the compellingness of like the characters and stuff throughout it is very gripping. Now, the ending of the film is like, like I, because I can't comment on how the original version of this film ended. I haven't seen it, so. But the ending of this version of this film, like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, it was like, oh my god, like, uh, very, uh, ankle biting let's just put it that way it's very brutal and kind of like uh foretelling and just the way that it's told and uh and you get to learn what the traveler kind of is in the ending of this version i'm guessing and the way that he personifies like evil pretty much without giving too much away really fucking awesome film very awesome for a low budget film for this time period that it came out in 2006 and I believe it was actually shot in 2004 and awesomeness I'm kind of curious because I do want to check out the other version of this film so I might have to track that down at some point but The Traveler awesome stuff if I had to rate it I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10 uh, like I said it's not going to be for everyone with the gore aspect of it. If you're into like these gore type films, I can see you being more into this, especially with like uh, the way that the gore is presented in this film, very torturous and kind of heartbreaking with the scenes that the people are involved in. But I highly enjoy this really awesome stuff. Highly recommend it. All right, guys, this is it for day eight. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll be back tomorrow with day nine. So I'll see you then. Peace out.